So, <clears throat> I'm going to make a, another quick mud fossil video today. Um, I'll start with this here. I found the other day. Um, I think it's possibly the mud fossil of an eel or something like that. If you look on here, here's the, the, the back spine of the eel and you can see these striations coming down here that were probably bones and you see the remnants of an eye and a mouth and even some teeth along here some sort of creature just just keep an eye on the eye and here you see the uh, the back spine of it turn it around the other way show you that side of it remnants of an eye here yeah definitely make out some teeth there on this thing an eye and an eye up here and there's the back of it with the you can see the lines of the bones there you might not be able to make it out on the camera but and I made a video of this beautiful crystal that I found which has the the fang in it and the eye I won't go through that and the nose and everything I won't go through all that again but I, what I forgot to mention was beside it right beside it in the ground was this and it is a a crystal pot and as you can see the pot has some pigment in it like a red kind of ochre color and um, I think it was used they used this pot pigments in to paint paint their faces or paint other things with um, so yeah as you can see it's definitely a pot and it's made of the quartz crystal like like this and I found them together so I forgot to mention this before yeah and excuse me I've got a bit of a cold uh, going on um, I may have shown this one before, but it hurt to show them again, which, which I think is a, the head of a alligator or crocodile or some form of reptilian creature. There's the front of the mouth here, the nose area coming up, the bulbous bits on the, the head where the eyes are, and this is the side profile of it. You can see where the, the mouth's been cut in half and the mouth would have opened like so. And here's the back of it and I'll show you from from this view and that's the top of it and back down to the front just a really nice mud fossil this one and I think I may have shown this again but I'll show it again this is this this small shark you can see the remnants of the mouth here and teeth that may have been in it and the eye holes uh, this is it from the underneath and that's the top of the head area and that's it from the side with the mouth and teeth but uh, when I found that I um, was amazed then I went I went back there the next day and found the body of it there we go that's the 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 fish and as you can hear it is completely turned to stone this is the uh, nice curved tail area and the fin obviously had a fin here as well and the, which has snapped off and that's the inside where the body was yeah. there we go and that's where another fin was snapped off it fin coming back it's amazing this tail has remained intact it's burnt that you know there's no way the, a, a rock would have formed like that naturally look at the curve on that and the thinness of it um yeah this is a real 
a real masterpiece of a mud fossil. There we go. Uh, um, is that? And I've probably shown this again. I think I showed this one before, but this is the one where I think was the. It's a mud fossil head of a goat. Um, under here is the up, upper jaw, the underside of the upper jaw of it. And here we have the the nose of it coming up and the eye socket. And here, well, I'll turn it around first. That's the other side of it. And what's interesting about this is, as you can see here, is that when this thing died and was fossilized into stone, it had a leather harness on it over the head. And there's the indentation of the harness that was on its head, cut into the skin. And it got etched into the mud fossil. So it was probably a pet goat or something <laughs> that at the time it got transformed into stone. Yeah, but um, the, the main reason for making the video was because I forgot to mention this really beautiful little quartz crystal pot with which still has the, uh, it's not so clear on the camera, but has a red kind of powdery dye inside it, which was obviously what they were mixing, you know, for some painting purpose, which is quite interesting. Right. Anyway, that's just a quick video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll make some more shortly. Thank you. Bye.